people often inquire about secrets of my success in business my normal answer is that truthful dealings and fair trading is the key reason for my success in business uh, we have been trying to keep strict principles of fair trading in whatever kind of dealings we have always believed that we should not make profit at the cost of somebody's loss and this has helped us create goodwill and strengthening our brand image whether we make profit or less profit or no profit goodwill helps you grow and this is what exactly we have done in 1956 when i was in class 7 i started joining our family shop in bikane and tried to sell retail and wholesale t-shirts and garments after schooling i joined business in 1960 in calcutta while still at college and after completing mba from indian institute of management calcutta in 1967 i decided not to go for any career but to join business of the family and expand it by applying the principles which we learned in the modern business systems from the institute and that is exactly what we have been doing and uh, while institute wanted me to join their academic side i declined and we i did do a small stint for 3 years as a visiting professor in 1970 we added our manufacturing facilities at delhi primarily for uh, naxalite movement in bengal and that was the starting milestone in turning our brand popularity in northern india at that time we had 4 lakh rupees as capital and 40 lakh rupees as turnover we grew year by year in 1990 we had gone to public first at that time our turnover was about 3 crores and our issue was subscribed 8 times this was the first public issue in the garment industry then we utilized that money for expanding uh business facilities on franchise system we added about 60 small manufacturing units as manufacturing franchises and we were closely running neck to neck with national brand vip we started spinning mill in gazola up in 95 government imposed export ban of cotton yarn we had export obligation so we started exporting yarn to meet our obligation and converted our units into eou and that helped us to have marketing network in now in 62 countries and our yarn is very popular in any textile manufacturing country in the world we get a premium price meanwhile our focus on garment was reduced due to uh, managerial organizational limitations we added one other mill very soon in south india tirupur to feed our knitting factories there and uh, con- subsequently converted into eou then we entered into cotton business cotton ginning cotton export agri commodities export and spinning mill in gujarat we have added another unit in gujarat recently presently focus is mainly on garment expansion and uh, we do face competition with various brands latest is foreign brands in india and competition is way of life for us and we hope we have to improve our skills continuously to face competition and increase our growth but i should say growth is a natural flow for us it's not so much meticulously planned in a longer span of the time and our dream is to go ahead as much as we can by utilizing our resources best including human resource which is the best asset we have goodwill and the brand image is the best asset we have 
goodwill and uh, we are happy because of good public relations and good employee relations. Every employee works as a family member and uh, wants to have increased working capacity potential to be realized in the textile field anywhere in the world. We, our objective is that nobody in India should remain Danga. Nobody. And there is enough scope. And how best we can do, that is we are trying to improve every year, continuously. Roti, Kapda, Makan, I believe Kapda is more important socially, biologically. Food may be more important. But one can remain without food, maybe four days, five days and more even. But in a social, civilized format, one cannot remain without clothing, even for a small period of the time. Challenge is lifetime. Every day we get new challenges. And we overcome by our own shrewd way. Competition in textile industry is the biggest challenge. How to compete successfully decides how fast we can grow, how much we can make our growth possible. And uh, challenges, I can say something like this, that if we were not in India, but say in Europe or America, and during the same time phase, we could have multiplied our growth 10 times or 20 times or maybe more. So while we are in India, we have to be in India and face impediments, barriers and limited opportunities which we have. You know, we, uh, I am in business for 54 years now. So it is, there are different time phases and different things have happened. Now for instance, even after liberalization, industry in India is continued to be controlled by so-called regulators. Only the format has changed. Regulation continues. There is single window clearances, so much pronounced, but nowhere it is operating. And the kind of various business barriers we have here, delays we have, how much money we are losing by way of recovering money from government, by way of subsidies, etc. It's terrible. Maybe four to five crores we lose by way of interest in delays in receiving subsidies. These are common problems, not specific to me or specific to this industry. India is India, USA is USA. There are other problems in the USA, like shortage of man power, like high wages, high costs, so forth. I would say whether it is business, first generation, last generation, whether it is game, whether it is politics, whether it is social service, everywhere you need to work with dedication. You need to work with sincerity. You need to work hard. Secrets of success are same, irrespective of whichever field you are and whichever time phase of the history you are. Those things can't change. So it's a common something we have to adopt. My firm belief in non-violence and truthfulness and fair trading has been derived from teachings of Mahatma Gandhi and also, of course, from Mahavir, Lord Mahavir. And I firmly believe in business methods and diplomacy as advocated by Chanakya and Vidur and my religious as inspiration is drawn from Kabir and Vaivalur. And I believe truthfulness, dedication, honesty, integrity, sincerity, all these virtues are essential for any business format, any profession, or anybody in life. They are universal truth for success. Message to young generation or next generation would be that they should not run after quick money. They should go slow and steady and they should not 
value money more than the principal.